If you're a small business owner and you want to get your security right, but you're not quite sure where to start, well, we've got some basic information for you called Essential 8, and this is going to help you get started on your security journey. Security is a big topic, and now more than ever, it is so important for small business owners to make sure that you have your team and your files properly protected. Now, unfortunately, because the area of security is just so vast, we have to protect our devices, we have to protect our online accounts. There are multiple threats coming from all different kinds of places. Well, it's pretty challenging and frustrating to have it all covered. Now, not to mention if you're a business owner or an IT leader, you have so many priorities competing for your time. And so you have to think about how can I make sure that my team have the right software? How am I keeping my costs in control for that software? How are my team working productively with their tools? Do they have the right training? And security can quite often take a back seat. It's one of those things where there's this balance between the trade-off of keeping things simple and convenient, but also making sure that they're actually secure enough so that you're well protected. And unfortunately, until you have either a data breach or an account compromised of some sort, most people don't really take security that easily. Now, I'm not gonna blame you for that. I understand that it is pretty hard. And that's why, thankfully, the Australian government have actually created a set of guidelines for small and medium-sized business security which is called the Essential 8. And these Essential 8 are effectively a framework that makes it easier for business owners of all sizes to understand and for technology leaders to actually implement simple yet effective security practices and policies to keep your business and your team safe. Now, you may be thinking, if I'm not in Australia, do these actually apply to me? And I think you should stick around for the rest of this video because these actually apply broadly to businesses. And I think it's always a good idea to implement best practices. Whether or not you have a similar framework in your country, these are probably gonna help you move towards better security for the organization that you're managing. Now, what are some of the things that the Essential 8 cover? Well, it talks about whitelisting of applications, security hardening of the individual applications that your team members use, account protection, two-factor authentication, something we talk about a lot on this channel, making sure you have the correct password policies in place, making sure you have backup and disaster recovery policies in place, but it also covers things like if you're using Microsoft Office in the organization, restricting macros in documents because they're one way that nasties can sometimes get into your organization. Small and medium enterprises should prioritize the eight security essentials so that you can avoid the risk of financial disaster, legal repercussions, or potentially worst case scenarios, PR, or some kind of data being breached. Now, if you're managing customer data, you don't want any of your customers' data to be exposed because that's gonna be a bad time for them. But you definitely don't want the impact to happen commercially for your business or for your team because that could lead to some pretty serious consequences for people inside the business and the further repercussions of everybody that your business supports. Now, our channel focuses a lot on the Google Workspace ecosystem of tools. And thankfully, this is a great solution to be able to implement the essential eight security principles. And so if you are interested in following these as a guide, if you're outside Australia, or if you're inside Australia and want to make sure you implement these to be compliant, well, we've got some tips on how to do that within Google Workspace. In the following videos in this series, you'll see some more in-depth technical implementation on how to implement it, but I'll give you a couple of the ideas now. Managing multi-factor authentication and password manager is easy in the admin panel of Google Workspace. You can set a strong password policy as well as setting enforced multi-factor authentication, as well as choosing what kind of multi-factor authentication is available. Google now has the ability to use pass keys for accounts, which are being rolled out globally across all Google accounts, and you can even restrict people from using phone numbers, which are notoriously insecure as a second factor device. Google Workspace has fantastic anti-spam factor built in, but you can also configure your DNS to set up a DMARC or a DKIM policy to further encrypt and protect your emails going in and out of the organization. Using Google's enterprise identity features, you can use those to lock down access to your individual computers, which previously wasn't available, but is now available for Mac and Windows machines. And a little bonus for anyone who's rolled out Chrome devices, some of the Essential 8 are actually not required to be implemented manually if you're managing Chrome devices within your network. That's because some of the problems and challenges are completely eliminated by the use of Chrome OS. And that makes your job even easier if you're the person responsible for rolling out these changes. The Essential 8 have been designed to make security accessible and easy to implement for small and medium organization leaders. And we're gonna share as much as we can to make this easy for you to get them implemented in the following videos. Of course, if you'd like some help or helping hand, we've got an upcoming education session. Look out for that on the channel where we'll be teaching you more about how to implement the Essential 8 for your business. By implementing these strategies, you'll reduce the potential risk for your business. You'll make sure your users are protected and the business is not at any risk of anyone getting access to your data 
Stick around for more of these videos in this series. I look forward to sharing them with you. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.